In this tutorial, I will illustrate how to draw webbing in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. The first thing I'll do is grab our Bezier tool and draw a straight segment. I'll do that by holding the control key down to keep the segment straight. Okay. Next, I'm going to change the stroke size to a 3. and change the join and cap to rounded. Next I want to duplicate this several times. The fastest way to do that is to hold the left mouse button down and hit the space bar several times. We're going to do this six times to get the segments that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is called stamping. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we're going to rotate each segment upward. Uh, I have Inkscape set to rotate at 15 degree increments. That's the default. I'll select this twice to get our rotation handles. I'll hold the shift key and the control key down together. This will rotate a segment at this endpoint down here. I'll do that for each one of these. And there we have that. Move this down a little bit. Okay, the next thing I want to do is make sure that I have my snaps turned on. I do that by going to Document Properties, selecting the Snap tab, and making sure that the bottom three are checked. Next thing I'll do is grab my Bezier tool and select the endpoint of each one of these segments. Your snap should snap to each endpoint. Okay, now. I want to double check this very first one to make sure that I did get it snapped on that end. Okay, it is. Okay, next I'll take this Bezier path that I've just drawn and change its stroke to match my original segment stroke. Make it a 3, join and cap to rounded. There we go. Okay, next I'll select our path that we've just drawn and select our node tool and pull each segment down from the middle manually. There we go. Okay, we're getting close. Next, I'll duplicate this path. Okay, now by holding the control key down and sliding this upper right handle I can duplicate this. Now if I keep my mouse along this segment, this will uh, increase or decrease to the center point here. If I select off of this segment, you notice that I get an effect like this and that's not what we want. So I'll keep it close to this segment, drop it off, I'll select this path, our previous path. I'll go to our effects pull down, generate from path, and I'll select the interpolate command. Okay. I'll leave this in its default state. Uh, if you can't read that, exponent is zero, interpolation steps is five, and interpolation method is two, and I have duplicate end pass checked. I'll hit OK. And there we have our webbing. So that's about as close as thing we're going to get to a spider web in Inkscape. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.